but I'm talking like pushing the natural limit here. So that's a very different discussion. Together yesterday, that's fun. <laughs> that's really cool, yeah. Uh, and it's just this whole thing, like as a natural, I don't really think staying close to 10% body fat or any below 10% body fat is just anywhere near as optimal for me personally. Now, maybe there's an outlier out there. I, I'm sure there's someone going to be all oh, in the comment section. No, oh, Mario said I can't do it. I'm going to prove him wrong. Sure. But just for me personally, if I'm getting anywhere near like 174 below that, I'm just feeling it, man. I'm feeling the training performance go down. Not, not as much my, my appearance. I mean, I look buff, lean, all that cool stuff. But at 178 now, and I'm really trying to get this up, actually, this is this is the project for the next couple of years, really actually mm. push the weight up more than I've ever done it before. And I know someone, um, I mean, I talked to a couple of people about this. They said, oh, it's bad for your brand. You know, you're going to not not be as shredded. But, you know, I mean, screw the brand. If, if I can't do what I want to make the training fun and interesting for me, I'm not enjoying the process. So it's like, it's not the brand. I mean, the brand is to live a healthy lifestyle and get strong and, right. and, and have that longevity. And if you can't understand that, that reaching a goal may take multiple steps and you might not be happy with the result of the first step, well, you're not, you're not, not going to make it in fitness because obviously, yeah. let's say you're starting skinny fat, it's a two-step process. Like any way you look at it, you're going to have to do some bulking and cutting or, or I mean, you can try to recomp at 140 pounds at five foot 10 and then get stuck there for 10 right. years. But I mean, or you can actually do a good job and, and understand, hey, I'm going to need to bulk up or I need to cut down first. And having those goals all that stuff, yeah. it is so it's like amazing how important that is because so right now is my deload week and i was just thinking how so in 17 years i mean i can think less than five times have i ever had a workout that was planned that day and i said i'm just not going to go today i actually i don't know if that's ever happened to be honest because i have like it's such a part of my concept like self-concept to not do that so obviously i've gotten sick obviously i've taken vacations but like to just be like, oh, I'm just not going to go to the gym today. It just doesn't happen. And, you know, you could say, oh, I'm so disciplined and everything. But the reality is it, it's like a habit right at that point. And it's working towards a goal. And with this being a deload week, I was just doing like, I'm just kind of going through the motions, just doing some things. And I thought to myself, like, man, if, if I was now 30 and I did not have this habit built in and it was just like, oh, I'm just going to exercise, right? Like the standard person does. I'm just going to exercise to be healthy. I just don't know if I would do it like just to not have that goal of like, so like something I'm working towards specifically. If it's just like, Oh, just, just because it's good for you exercise more. Or like I, like I can relate and empathize with the average person who just does it for a few weeks and then stops because, and I just bring this up because you're saying like the importance of doing what you want to do and having a, something to work towards yeah. is just so important. Absolutely, man. Uh, and look, I, I mean, I'm not saying you know, people would, I, I made a video just a few months ago, it's actually going viral as we speak now. I just mm. checked analytics today and I was like, why, why are there so many views? Suddenly there's one video that went viral and it's exactly that video of why I'm not, why I haven't built any muscle for the last five years, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a bit of a clickbaity title. Obviously I built muscle, but I just kind of explained that my physique hasn't <laughs> changed that much. Obviously, yeah. you know, the first five years of serious lifting, you get sort of like a general base of your physique and I'll, and I asked people, actually people in that video, do you want me to bulk? Like, do you want me to gain some size here? And then I'm going to cut later and I'm going to show more gains. I think there was this crazy amount of percentage of people that said, no, 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 no. Don't touch your physique. Like your physique is perfect. Oh, really? way it is. Don't do anything. Like you're lean, mm. natural. You don't look big. I think people, if they, if people saw me right now with a pump in the gym without my shirt, they'd be like, this guy's a bodybuilder. Like, you know, just, just because you look buffed bigger you know all that stuff you're not as shredded but you're just definitely like you can see the guy you know when, when someone lives so you can see okay so the guy's taking it seriously so i wouldn't say we're in that category of just treating it as like a hobby because right. i totally respect that i mean that's most of my clients they're just training to get stronger leaner up until a point like they want to be you know in that 12 to 15 range have a decent amount of muscle but i'm talking like pushing the natural limit here so that's a very different discussion Totally. And that's something you, I mean, I get excited about, but I'm not, I'm sure that most people are not going to, this is a very niche thing. Yeah. Like most people would be very happy with a 225 bench, probably, uh, you know, 275 squat, maybe, a, you know, a nice little deadlift, you know, 350, 340, I don't know, like 330, whatever is, you know, easy plates to put on. And, right. and that's great. I mean, you can have a great physique uh, training in just a couple of years. But, you know, I'm kind of the potential person. Like, I just want to really see how I can push this thing, especially being drug free and just doing this as, you know, 
as long as I can, 